Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to what will be, I believe, the fourth edition of uh, Track by Track. Uh, today we are bringing the Sheridan light tank. Um, honestly, probably one of the worst light tanks at tier 10. Um, second to last <laughs> on the list. I think the WZ light tank falls behind that a little bit. But unfortunately, the, the Sheridan suffers from being absolutely the largest boxiest light tank on the, in the game with not nearly any armor to sustain itself. Um, of note for this game, we are going to be playing with the 152mm derp gun. Um, you may see in the future a version of this with uh, the actual standard gun. Uh, I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys, the... <laughs> The 152 millimeter on this is just if you are trying to have a kind of fun laid back game. Don't expect to really do incredibly on with that because of its low pen, the the HE changes that are really kind of hammering it and making it a little bit worse. It's gold round, the at least the two key round is actually quite good. Um, does lower health? I believe it's about an average of 650 where the Standard round is about 850, I believe. Um, actually, it might be a little bit higher. They might be around 900. But so the gold round is a little bit more dependable. But it's at that point, it's not worth the near 20 second reload um, for 650 when you could be using the standard gun um, that does about 400 every. I forget what it's like every eight to ten seconds or something like that. Um, but without further ado, we're gonna roll right into this game here. It's mines, a honestly a fun tier 10 map. Um, a lot, everybody hates on it because it's too small, but it's fun. It's usually fast, and you know you're either, especially if you're a light tank on this, go hill. <laughs> um, you're either out of the fight real quick or you do really cool. Um, and we're gonna kind of display how well slash not well this goes. But right off the bat, I mean. I, I'm going for hill. Um, on on stream, I think I was saying a, th a thousand damage hit on their EBR or bust. That's what I was going for. I love the der the derp gun is really fun for per for punishing uh, enemy EBRs if you hit them because good lord can you crush them. Uh, but I'm really slow and there are a lot of tanks looking at me. Uh, I do take a random shot. Get I take almost my whole health was at near 1300 damage but I get a very lucky side shot into the stub uh, for 900 base from there I pull out try to get unlit and what I'm trying to do is get a light of some sort on that back area so I can deal with them and then the worst happens is that I get lit um, by something that I, I can't see and thankfully a little questionably, but thankfully I don't get hit. Um, I get on, I get darked out. I look for their EBR or Kronbon trying to push aggressively on uh, the 8-9 line. And from here on out, you're just going to start seeing me and it's EBR 105. Now that we have the hill, uh, we're just going to start rotating around and looking for any free shots we have. Um, of note, what both myself and the BRC almost simultaneously is they are pushing really hard with the Chieftain and they're pushing really hard with the Udes. So I do use intuition, I switch to the uh, gold round. I just saw that the EBR got tagged by the Udes, so I have a free shot and roll a 750 shot, which is a little high. I think that's um it's a hundred over. And from here on out, we are gonna play a little game with the enemy Udes 15. Um, I'm, I'm obviously I can't peek him because if I do, he tags me and I'm out. And well, that, that's the last thing that I want. So we're gonna play. We're gonna sit on this. And we're gonna watch it because this is honestly one of the better ways I can help my team is keep them from pushing over hill. We have the map control. Um, our EBR is looking around to try to get some shots right now. 
but keeping them down is is key here. And what's going to break this down, man, I'm, I'm looking at the Udez. I know I'm unlit now, but he's still looking at that corner for me. What saves me here is I think it's out of, out of the friendly E50M. Hit tags him in the rear, makes him even more one shot, and I get to make that peek. From there, I'm going to switch back to the standard HG shell. Uh, and I'm going to be looking at some long shots. On either the E4, if I can safely pick up and get them, or on anything else. And I see the CBR here, and I was remembering that mantra of a thousand damage or bust. I look at him, and he shoot. I shoot. He turns just at the last second. He'd been going straight for such a long time that I was actually I was holding off this shot because I was like, "There's no way he's gonna keep going straight." Take that last shot. I waited a little bit too long, uh, and he escaped me. Well, that's okay. Well, uh, we just prepare ourselves to fight a little bit better. So earlier, I had been spotted in the backfield, or right about here, and I was blown away by the fact that I wasn't knocked out. And my question here is how the Leo in the back there didn't have a shot on me for a good chunk of that time. But here, 4K5 is an easy soft target. Um. I'm going to get a full slap on him. The rest of my team has done outstanding this entire game. Leo pops up while I'm still reloading. Um, and doesn't get shot at. I think the Kronbon might be reloading or doesn't have shots. But I get this great side shot on him. We take down another 500. And at this point, I want to get a little bit greedy. Um, the, the EBR is near dead, so I'm just going to push down on on these guys whenever I get the chance finish my reload and that crown gets killed but I do get to change targets and I do get to move and knock out the crown von well not knock out but take him dear down to about 100 health and we finish a game with as a scout on mines absolutely no assistance no block because the Sheridan has <laughs> no armor to speak of um, and a 3500 damage uh, game. Not an outstanding game, not even for the Sheridan uh, in the, for the most part, but in an all-tier all tier 10 match about firing just the derp can in here, um, it's a fun game. Long story short, when you're playing the Sheridan, uh, if you're going for the derp route, do do what you can to stay unlit. Um, that, was, that was key to this in mind, is that once I got through, I mean, I got really blasted coming up and in um almost not worth it to that point prob honestly probably not worth it at that point but um it, the real lucky shot on the stub helps us a lot uh you're not gonna get that every time that was just something i i, I threw that as a hail mary and honestly i lost it uh while in game i lost it behind the whole wave of red tags and me getting hit from it but uh once, once you're up, if you are controlling that area, don't overpeak. Don't get overspotted by getting like by trying to run into those bushes. You're gonna get proxy by whatever they have hiding that's real close to the bushes. A smarter enemy player is gonna sit under those bushes and make sure that you can that he gets as much proxy towards you as he can. That way, if you try to peek on that or if you even get close, you're gonna get proxy spotted. Um. Long story short, the Sheridan, very fun tank, little weak overall, uh, just due to the fact that it does have good view range, it's got decent speed, nothing too crazy, nothing EBR standard, I don't even believe it gets a top speed close to the Manicore, um, because the Manicore has a little bit more speed than it, but um, the, the Derp Gun can kind of be a game changer, you gotta play yourself a little smartly, don't don't take peaks if you're not going to get them. With the, When it comes to that Udez fight that we had there where we took, you know, a whole minute or two out of the match just to sit there and watch, go for go for kills, but make sure you're going to get them. Wait for the enemy to slip up. Don't make your mistake. Make them make the mistake. And from time to time, you have to rely on your allies. Uh, that E50M cross shot was great. 
the rest of the team just absolutely rolling over them. Um, I mean, a 15-2 victory isn't even close. And we did really well. Even the guys that died, really well. Um, and yeah. But this has been track, track by track. Uh, an, an interesting installment. You will definitely see the Sheridan again. Because I will do the Sheridan in a more scouting role. Um, most likely with the standard gun. That way we get a we can get a good mix of here's a tank in a brawling style. Um, and then we'll get maybe we'll get something out of Mount Ofka or Brock or something good where we can get some good bushes, some good lights, and hopefully some good support from our team. But hey, that is it for this installation of Track by Track. As always, I greatly appreciate you all for all you've done, for all your, for any views that you've given me, any likes, subscribes, all that good stuff. If you want to see more of this, let me know in the comments. I'll catch y'all around. This is a little non-sheet, signing out.